Hey, welcome to Auto Drive Academy with Mighty Mike here for Farming Simulator 22. Today we're going to look at the parking feature and we're also going to include uh, reverse courses with this uh, because they go hand in hand. So let's get started. First thing, first things first, we have this John Deere Gator set up here. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and demonstrate how it can park. So the big P here in the Auto Drive toolbar, we're just going to left click it. We'll hop out and let him go do his thing. I already have a parking spot set up for him. And he should uh, pull down here. And there we go. So we, we immediately have run into a problem. He has detected a collision there with that tractor. So let me go ahead and back that up a little bit so that he can pull him past. Actually, I'm going to have to pull it out. There we go. Always something. Alright, so he's going to pull around and then reverse in to his parking spot. We should get a message saying he has arrived. There we go. So that is how parking works. You can set up a designated parking spot for each vehicle and they will go there when you tell them to. Is an e easy one click button there and you see his parking spot is here they do stop a little short on a reversing there but there his parking gator is his parking spot so it works out really well uh, so what we'll go ahead and do uh, I could demonstrate with the gator but I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate with this tractor that has a trailer attached because it will all work the same and you can see I do already have a spot set up for him but we're going to go ahead and set up another spot. So you would normally have a course set up. And these parking spaces are going to be either in sheds. They could be out in your farmyard. It doesn't really matter where you choose them. Uh, you can have them as a pull through. Or uh, a reverse in. Or just a pull in and stop. So either way you want to set it up. It doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this. The guy come in here, we're going to park him in that third bay down there beside the gator. What I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and pull in here and get him set up here on this course. Since we already have this one course that swings around here, I'm actually going to connect up here. And as we saw there, you have to be careful with your courses uh, because your, your uh, tractors and vehicles will detect collisions so if they are too close to an existing uh, tractor you'll get an issue like we saw there at the very beginning but that is something to consider uh, doing what I'm doing here swinging real close to the shed probably not the best thing to do but we're going to do that we're a little tight here between the buildings I'm going to go ahead and left click and start recording and actually what I'm going to do let me let me bring these lines up above the tractor here. All right, so we have our start point there. So I'm going to go ahead and left click there and connect it. And then we're going to go ahead with our path. So I'm going to pull up best I can. It is a lot going on here. Let me pull up past this. Bay. I'm going to pull up as far as we can, give the tractor enough room to start backing up. I've stopped there, and what we're going to do is start reversing in to that shed. So the reversing course actually will start automatically when you start backing up your vehicle. And you can see there we've got the blue line, and then we're starting to get uh, more waypoints there and they are blue we're backing into the shed I'm gonna pan around here so we can see what's going on uh, let's see let's go to the side there we go and you can see we're getting the dots coming in I'm gonna go all the way far back as I can alright so we're there and we're gonna go ahead and stop our recording now the only problem with this is to get 
set up with and I'm going to go ahead and drop these lines back down because it is very very busy so in order to be able to get that last dot assigned what we're going to have to do we have to pull in here we could either pull in with the spreader connected but I'll go ahead and disconnect it here and then what I'll do is I'll just pull in with the tractor so that we can get our connector line that red line from the tractor okay so there now we're touching that waypoint and we're going to go ahead and assign it I already have a parking spot for the spreader assigned so I'm going to go ahead and assign this one as parking spreader 2 we'll go ahead and select the target icon there and we're going to call it parking spreader parking spreader 2 okay and so now that is set now what we can do in order to set your parking spot you see this tractor actually already has a parking spot assigned I had assigned it parking spreader 1 so what you can do you want to get rid of an existing parking designation you can hold down left alt and then right click on your mouse button over the P and you see here parking destination deleted in order to set a parking space you're going to pick in your drop down list the waypoint or target that you want to assign and then you will hold down left control right click and now you see it is designated to parking spreader 2 now that that is assigned we can go back over here and hook up our spreader and we'll give it a test run see what happens the farther you can pull forward before you back up on your reversing courses the better uh, that's just going to help you uh, get lined up better and let the, uh, the driver the auto drive driver do a better job hopefully we'll be okay there so uh, it doesn't matter what this is set at it could be another waypoint obviously I can hit go and it's going to drive to the main farm but we're going to click park left click you can see here it is driving to the parking designation we'll see what happens here it should just swing around and back into that spot It is going to attempt to pull all the way forward and you see there it is on the path that we chose to reverse in to the shed and there it has reached the destination now it will always stop a little bit short you can see there I move the auto drive window it always stops a little short so what you can actually do since you know we need to get this equipment farther back this is where editing your course you could just right click on this waypoint and drag it all the way to the back here and then now if we pull up a bit see if he backs in nope 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 stop 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 let's uh let's let him swing around here and see what happens i'm going to set him up over the hill there we'll see if this won't do a better job and while he's backing in we're going to go ahead and hop over here to the semi truck and what we're going to look at here is a pull through course now these are nice because it allows you to just pull through you don't have to do any reversing so you see there I do have that set up already for one location so what I'm going to do is pull back here we're going to go ahead and set up another in my location we'll pull in here and there the uh, tractor has reached his destination we'll take a look at it in just a moment let me back up just a little bit more and what I'm going to do is we're a little tight here so I'm going to swing out just a bit on this 
I'm going to go ahead and start recording there. So I'll left click. We're going to swing out. And swing back around here. Pull through the bay. Camera down here so we can see what we're doing. We're going to pull in and we'll stop right there. So that you see the waypoint is right here underneath the, the rear tires. So if I create a waypoint, what's going to happen is it's going to set it up here. And then when the, the truck pulls in next time, it's only going to pull up to here. So that's something to consider. Uh, be mindful of where you're creating your waypoints. I could try to pull up a little bit more, see if we get it. We were, hadn't got one yet. But what I would do in this situation is... I'm going to just right click on this one here and you can just drag it up. You got to be careful to keep it underneath the truck. You see I've gone off to the right there just a little bit. That should be pretty good there and then we'll go ahead and set this up as a parking MI2. You see it is there underneath the truck and then the nice thing about these is you can go ahead and pull forward and connect this back up to your, your route so th the truck can just pull out and I'm going to stop it right there and I'm going to back up always stop recording before you back up if you don't intend to have a reverse course so you, my last waypoint is right here I'm just going to click that there and we're going to go over here to this one and we're just going to connect it up with a nice gentle curve and there we go and it will go back out to the road so let's uh, see how this one works out we'll pull around here on the road and i give it a go and before i do that i need to set up my parking spot because i have this as parking semi one currently so I can either unassign it and reassign it, or I can just assign it to the new one. So what I'll do is I'll click in the drop down menu, parking semi two, and we're gonna hold left control, right click on the parking icon. And we now have it assigned to parking semi two. I'll go ahead and click the park icon, left click. And it cannot reach it. Why is that? Well, that is because I forgot to connect up the start of the course. Here, before I pulled off of the, the driveway here, so let me go ahead and left click there and we'll get that connected up. All right, so again here, we're going to give it a shot. Click the parking icon there and he should drive on into the into the driveway there and then make it swing out and then into the shed. Let's see where he stops. He should pull in there to the target. And there we go. Perfect. He is completely under the shed. And let's just say I want to go ahead and send him down to the shop. Let's do that. And we're just going to send them down. Now he can just pull out of the, sh the shed onto our main course. And away he goes. So something to consider if you're using trailers and you can pull through. That is definitely going to be the best bet there because then you can pull through. Uh, especially with longer trailers like this. And that is much easier. And trying to back in but you can see here now when the spreader backed in almost all the way to the back wall there perfect last thing i want to touch on here about the parking feature is that you can actually assign a parking spot to your implements so for instance here i do have the spreader attached to the john deere tractor well i could also have a forage wagon for instance and assign that to this bay here. The way you do that is to make sure 
that your implement is highlighted when you go to set up your parking spot. So I do have the manure spreader highlighted and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and select parking spreader one since that's where it is currently. And we'll pick that here in our drop down, hold left control, right click on the P. So now that spreader is actually set up to this location. And if I had a forage wagon, I could do the same thing. I could connect to it, set it up to be in this bay here. So what that allows you to do is to be able to send trailers and, and implements to their parking location, no matter which vehicle you have connected. The only thing you have to make sure of is whenever you click the P in the auto drive menu, you need to make sure that you have the correct item highlighted. So if you want to send the tractor to its location, make sure it is highlighted. If you want to send the implement to its location, make sure it is highlighted. Very, very cool feature for parking. So just to recap, we do have our parking spots assigned. You hold left control and click on the P to assign a location after picking it in your drop down. If you want to remove an assignment, you hold left alt and then right click the P and it will re remove the assignment. Reversing courses, very easy. Just start backing up. Just make sure you've pulled up enough to give the driver enough room to maneuver and straighten up on their reverse course. You can use reverse courses into silos, a barns, whatever you need to, to set it up. And then remember also that they will stop short. So if you need to adjust your waypoint to get the item further back into the location, then you'll just need to right click on it and drag it back. And that's it. Very simple, very easy, and very useful. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. If you did, be sure to give me a like. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button today. And then click the bell to make sure you're notified of all future episodes of Auto Drive Academy for Farming Simulator 22. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you soon.